So who do we got next? All right. The next one is uh, one of my favorite ones. Meeting the Dudley Boys. Oh, my God. Let so, me explain. Let me explain. So listen, folks. You, you tell I'm a chatter. I'm a chatty Cathy. Just is what it is. Um, well, let me let me tell them. Um, you only have this much time to meet these guys. So whatever you got on your chest, you got to get out now. Well, that, that's not necessarily true because we, we've talked to Devon at the bar and at the hotel. I'm so talking about the events. You're talking about the events. Yeah. So, yeah. Mind you, folks, I'm going to put this in context. We have met a lot of superstars outside at their hotel. And I'm, when I mean at their hotel, at the bar, in the hotel, we hang out with these people. But he, Malcolm is talking about when you're just at the events. So, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. So, when you're at the events, you only have a small amount of time to meet them. And uh, if you want to tell them, like, hey, uh, thank you for everything you've done or, like, you inspired me in some way quit. and all that stuff, they, they're like, you want to be quick. Let's go, let's, yeah. go, let's go. You know, and so uh, when you're trying, like, Kyle here is trying to explain that, um, you know. Th- I like uh, their singles. Adam- I like them as singles, right? So let me go. That's what I did. I sat there, and now Malcolm turned it up after I've done. So I knew walking up, I wanted to compliment them both on their singles career. Because I always feel a lot of people with, uh, especially with uh, the Bully Ray character, they don't give enough credit to how good their creativity is individually. And I knew right away I wanted to make them know that somebody out there noticed that. And I did. And I appreciated it. And I enjoyed that type of uh, programming that they were in. Oh, yeah. And I want, and so again, but I also want to say, you guys know you're watching me right now. Go back and watch anything I've ever done. I'm a chatty Kathy. I, I'm I like talking. I'm very friendly. I'm not rude. I'm not uh, illiterate. I talk very fast but very efficiently. And so watch what happens when I walk up and I'm talking very fast. Watch what wa- watch what Mister Bully Ray does. I right, let me let me see if I can turn it up real. I fast. mean, I, I can't believe this, folks. Devon shocked, so he starts laughing. Look at this. Watch what he does. He's just listening. And he screams. And he screams. Oh, just, okay. So he screams Adderall for no reason. I And here's the thing, folks. I don't do drugs. Okay. I never have, never will. Uh, I don't know. Wh- like, go back and wa- let's watch it one more time. He's just sitting. Look at his face. He's sitting there <laughs> just looking at me. And he, so he's, he, this is what I don't get about this. He's looking right at me, listening to what I'm saying. So that means he didn't, he didn't listen to anything I said. He didn't care. All he heard was me talking. And what, what? Adderall. For no fucking reason, because I'm chatting. Look, look at this. So I'm shocked right here. When he says that, I go, uh. Uh, and Devon's like, oh, right, no, guys. Uh, because I was just like, because Devon's like, because I'm going to just like, I don't think, I'm going to be honest. I'm calling this out. I don't think Devon likes him anymore. I Because yeah. I think he thought that was unprofessional. You don't do that to people. You don't do that and in front I, of the reverend. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I did. I walked away and I said, hey, that's rude. You didn't, because you just don't do that, dude. Because yeah. here's the thing. There are going to be people. Right, I, got it. I got it. I got it. I said it a while, but you got the joke. Oh, no, I got it. I was just like, yeah. I was like, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I talk a lot. That's what you assume. But also what, what I, again, I go back to what I'm saying. There are people there that legitimately take Adderall and the legitimately take medicine. Yeah. And if they're talkative, dude, why would you, you know, it's just, you don't do that. And I think I'm going to be honest. I think Devon probably told him later. Do you know? I, if you're going to be here with me, dude, don't do that. Unless he's done it so many times or yeah. I and mean, I don't, I, again, I don't think he likes him. I told, I, I got the feeling. I remember when I was there and I still think this, I got the feeling that Devon, when he was like, oh, he's joking, he was thinking to himself, dude, what the F are you doing? Like, you can't act this way in front. And then we found out, then we found out they had a, a little incident later on that day with another fan. Oh, really? Yeah. Remember, they had a little little uh, yelling hmm. thing. Now, it wasn't a big deal. And I, you probably don't remember, yeah. but I, re- I remember hearing it. And I wasn't surprised. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal that happened. No, no fist fight or anything, but I remember hearing it. Well, also you gotta imagine that 
these guys have been ECW guys hit in the head no. so many times. And no uh, excuse though, man. No, I'm no sorry. Excuse, you know, no, just... you know what? I will say you do have an excuse. You got hit in the head all those but times. I have a, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I'm taking out, if I, let's say I'm in the ADA line and I'm mentally handicapped. Okay. Let's say I am taking uh something like that. I have an excuse. He doesn't know my medical condition. Yeah. hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. It did, that didn't make any sense. It didn't. It's rude. It's rude. And it's 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 uncalled for. And and I I lost and I told you this. I lost respect that day for him. Well, you know uh what what was that in um Death to Smoochie where he's like you take a couple hits to the head and you know you don't come out like a well, financier. Well, that's fine. I mean that here's the thing. That's fine. If I here's the thing. If I thought it was that. It wasn't that. He just he is Hey Bubba, nice to meet you. My name's Bubba. I personally I personally think that he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't no. care. He doesn't care about the fans. He's there to make money. And he'll probably not say that, but it's the truth. And I'm going to be honest. I think that's why the WWE didn't want to work with him. Is that they're like, listen, you're not. No offense, dude. You lost every WrestleMania you ever been. Like, listen, Good dude. Luck. Well, exactly. But also, listen, dude. We brought, we made some money with you. You're a draw with the Dougley boys. We don't want to do the bully Ray care. Well, it's good. Nah, dude. Did they win the tag teams? Because they were feuding against the New Day for a while. Uh, I want to say they did, but yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, it, it was definitely um very sad, very sad, and I I don't understand. Um, and I and I'll never understand because you just don't do that. This is bad. Yeah. You don't do it because it may no because I'm talking. That's it. Because I'm talking. That was it. It was nothing else. Also, it, these are, these guys are kind of heroes to us. I mean, when we're in high school, well, we yeah. used to ask people if they want to get Dudley 3D. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Like when I, we're with Brian, Brian's like, "Yeah, I'll do it." He just runs at us, and boom. But yeah, I mean, so, so like, we grew up with these guys, and you know, they, they may think it's a joke that we're you know in their late twenties at this point meeting superstars, but that's just. But here's the thing: they're there. There. Here's the thing. They're there. We're meeting them. So who, if that's what he thinks, he's the one at the event. Yeah. If you was if, there an obligation? Or you think that they're like? No, no, I we'll have do no it. idea. But Money. dude, if you don't want to be there, if you don't want to be there, just tell. Go to Vince and say I don't want to do the event. Yeah. I don't want to do the event. I don't like meeting fans. It's hilarious every time, but it was really every stuff. time. I'm standing there with. The I mean, camera. it's hilarious. We're, we're it just, is hilarious. We're dead because silent because we're like. Wait, what? I can't believe you said that. And Devon's like, damn, I can't believe that you really said that. Yeah, oh, he was. He was shocked. Because, like, what? he's like. Devon, I feel like. No, he's a nice guy. Because I talked talk, to, talk to him at the bar. Yeah. I talked to him at the hotel. And um, he just, yeah, he's a really. It's money for him, too. Yeah, he's a nice. Well, yeah, because they're the Dougley boys. A draw. He's a, ni- yeah. he's a nice guy. I mean, he really is. He's somebody that does work. He, he takes it serious. Like, to yeah. him, to him wrestling is his life he's got a family he's got people to support um i don't think the same is for bully ray i don't think he takes it as serious yeah, i'm sorry and, and the thing is that when we when we had that experience it reflected badly on devon because yeah. i don't think of devon as as much it did for a moment it did it did for a moment till i remember that night i met him at the hotel yeah. and, and at the bar and then i realized okay you know that he because when that happened at the meet and greet i'm thinking holy oh, you know okay and then when I met him, I'm like, okay, dude, he's drinking some Chardonnay. He's a regular dude. He's sitting out. I remember I was vaping out front, and he's a regular guy. He just he, he just chilling out front on the oh, bench. Yeah. I was like, hey, can I sit here? He's like, yeah. You know, nice guy. 